Hi guys, it's Kathy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm working on a 12 by 12. It is a gallery wrapped canvas, but it's just a very thin edge. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just going to do, uh, I think a little bloom blowout, just to relax with. I'm just going to use three colors. This is See which one is this? This is a Liquitex magenta, Liquitex Conacridone magenta, mixed with a little Arteza Bordeaux red. And this is black mixed with Prussian blue. And this is PBO's Iridescent Precious Gold. <clears throat> I may drizzle a little bit of Golden's Copper onto it and a little bit of uh, Arteza Bordeaux Red. And my cell activator is um, DecoArts uh, Satin Enamels Titanium White mixed with four parts Australian Floton. So, uh, I'm not going to do a puddle. Uh, I'll put a flow extender around it. So I'm going to start with the magenta. I'm sorry, it's, it's actually burgundy. It's a magenta mixed with the red <clears throat> and the blue-black. And let's see, I think I'll do magenta again. Magenta black, magenta gold. That's what we'll do. A lot of magenta. Okay. Um, Oh, I forgot the drizzly stuff. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. We'll do a little bit of copper around here. Just a little bit. Copper tends to take over. But I do like the effects of it. And just a little, just a little Bordeaux red by itself. I forgot to paint the edges with the black or blue black ahead of time, so I will probably have to do that once it dries. Usually, if I remember, I'll do that ahead of putting the paint down rather than having white canvas poking out under here. Just easier to do with my fingers, I think.
so I'll have to do that. Okay, let's try with this guy. Uh, I'm going to start on the low setting on cool. Might need a high setting. Let's see. Okay, well that's weird. <laughs> uh, I uh, I don't mind it. It's kind of pretty, but I don't know what happened to the cell activator. It uh, definitely did wonderful cells here, but well, I guess just the way I blew it out was kind of wonky anyway. So um, I kind of messed that up here. Try this again. Well, that's going to stay walking, I guess. Well, that's interesting looking, isn't it? I really love that. I don't like all the white, but I also don't mind it all that much. I wish I hadn't scraped this with, with the edge of the blow dryer though. That was not good. Let's see if we can't. Bring that down. <clears throat> This is just really weird. I, I don't know what happened with it. It's very cool, but um, I guess I, I should have stuck to the bloom instead of changing my mind midstream to do a, uh, a blow and I forgot, automatically went for a bloom. But it is really doing some cool things here. Uh, I'm going to fiddle with it a little bit and then I'll come down for a flyby and show you the close-ups. See you in a okay. second. Well, here this is, the wet results. It's very bizarre. It looks like some alien universe or something. Or some alien took my hand and did the blowout. I don't know, but anyway, I like that it's so different. Um, so just on that alone, so you can see that beautiful red going with the gold, how beautifully that blends. Uh, the blue-black, it looks black, but uh, and it will dry darker, but uh, it's definitely a deep, deep blue with the black. Look at all the layers 
of colors in that. And then the only cell activity from the Aussie Floetrol is right in there, but the rest of it looks like a cloud pour. It, there's no cloud mix in it. It's just the Aussie Floetrol. And on that note, I love how all these little cells with all these different colors came through. It looks like a little pudgy hand right there. Anyway, um, this is not at all what I had in mind. Um, but uh, I like the colors, I like the cells. Uh, the composition is very interesting and otherworldly, so um, I'm keeping it. All right, thank you for joining me. I'll be back in a minute, minute with the uh, dry results. Okay, here are the dry results. It is not yet varnished. When it is, that gold shimmer will be beautiful. It looks like a galactic storm cloud. Very interesting. Not at all what I had in mind when I started, but I really love this one. Paint just does what it wants to do. That's the focal point there. And the negative space, I think, looks nice with it. Let's see if you can see that uh, gold mixed with the Bordeaux red. It's really pretty. And the white around the edges just kind of has a little smoky feel there. Blended nicely. So there you have it. Thanks for joining me. You guys all take care and be well and be happy. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.